London under the flying bomb. Battle of Britain conditions return in the form of robot warfare on the capital. It's a civilian battle again. Citizens are both the target and the defenders. Every day, folk don their steel helmets and take duty on the rooftops. The bomb spotters who keep watch during daytime alerts and sound the warnings when immediate danger threatens. London's wartime calendar of experience may be set back four years, but the people adjust themselves to the frontline peril and carry on. The question of moving children from danger is immediately tackled. Past experience lends a hand in the smooth running of evacuation. Many thousands of youngsters are sent away from London into districts where the indiscriminate flying bomb doesn't reach. Whole schools and kiddies of anxious families moved from the terrors of blast and flying glass. The youngsters whom the Germans have no compunction in killing in their orgy of scatter bombing. To the northwest of England come the Doodlebug Expresses, as the children nicknamed the evacuation specials. Some of the young nuts of Nutsford, en route to safety and friendly billets. Pathé cameraman Jerry Summers tags along beside the lines of children who get quite a little thrill at being in the eye of the newsreel. A quintet from America waves a greeting as the London County Council evacuation parties arrive at their rest centres. Plenty of willing hands and friendly folk are there to make the experience a pleasant one. While London fights the flying bomb, the children are being taken good care of. Eight new deep shelters are now open for the accommodation of Londoners. Over a hundred feet underground, they're the last word in design. Double staircases and emergency lifts bring you into well-appointed quarters. Each has accommodation for 8,000 people who will sleep in tiered bunks. Precautions against the spreading of infection are thorough. Families are provided with cubicles in these shelters. Staffs of hospital nurses, doctors and ambulance crews have been appointed. The medical aid post is another feature of this ARP enterprise, which was built for the 1940 Blitz days and now used for the first time. Indirect lighting, air conditioning, dormitories for babies and comfortable canteens are all available to the people who shelter in these luxury tunnels below London. Security stops have been removed from certain places hit by flying bombs. The Guards Chapel Wellington Barracks sustained a direct hit. Soon after the tragedy occurred, we had our cameraman on the spot. A Sunday morning service was in progress when the one-ton projectile struck. Mr. Churchill gleans first-hand information for his speech in the House when he told the nation that the phrase Southern England passes out of currency. London, 18 miles wide and 20 miles deep, is the target for the weapon fired from across the Channel. <laughs> 